That's right, and there are several other charges as well. Councilwoman Felicia Porter, who represents this area, says that this sends a clear message. Neglect of duty and failure to serve and protect the people of Baltimore will not be tolerated. And the mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott, says that this disciplinary action is fair and responsive. Things were preventable were not for the inaction or, or missteps of folks who had a responsibility uh, to protect uh, the residents of that neighborhood. Mayor right? Brandon Scott is commenting on the police department's internal investigation and disciplinary action following last July's mass shooting in Brooklyn. 18-year-old Aliyah Gonzalez and 22-year-old Kylas Fembemi were killed. More than 22 others were wounded during the Brooklyn Day celebration. Now a dozen BPD staff members face disciplinary action. It was surprising to me that they uh, were, look, were investigating 15 people and 12 people uh, there were charges against. Uh, it would be interesting to get more details, but I think that will come out later. The charges of misconduct include making false statements, neglect of duty, conduct unbecoming, and body-worn camera violations. The recommendations range from firing to suspension without pay. But it's just another step in the accountability for what took place there. But it's very fair and very direct. We were not going to hold any punches or hold back. 11 News did ask for an on-camera interview with Police Commissioner Richard Worley. The request denied. Instead, he issued a statement that reads, From day one, it was important that we not only do a deep dive into all that happened before, during, and after this tragic incident, but also hold those accountable who violated our policies and most importantly, the public's trust. But the mother of Aliyah Gonzalez says it's almost a year since her daughter's death. Crystal Gonzalez wonders if this is all optics. She tells 11 News, to us, she dies every day. It is unfortunate. We are serving a life sentence based on their inaction. No justice here. The mayor says he will be meeting with Brooklyn community members next week. And this, I hope, is another step in the healing process for the residents of Brooklyn. Now, the city police union released a statement describing staffing shortages and other issues within the department. The union president writes the Baltimore Police Department and city leaders continue to push their failures onto the rank and file members within our agency. Not one person above the rank of lieutenant has been held accountable. And that includes, according to the union, BPD command staff. Reporting live from Brooklyn, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.